What's up guys? So it is Sunday, January 31st. Um, been crazy sick the last couple days. Have not vlogged at all. Haven't vlogged at all. The last time I really vlogged was last Monday. So that would have been like January 25th and actually editing that video right now. So editing footage from a week ago right now over here on my computer because I just have no footage um, from the past couple days. But luckily I was working ahead so I am kind of caught up. But um, what I am doing right now is um, I'm reading a book. I know, right? Reading a book. Crazy. <laughs> I don't usually read books, but um, I actually got this one sent to me and I downloaded it on Kindle. So I have Kindle on my phone. Uh, Kindle right here on my phone. Um, and the book is a short, so let me go to it right now. So um, it's called A Short Course in Happiness and a Short Course in Happiness, Practical Steps to a Happier Life. Um, it's by Linda Wallace. So let's see if it can focus right there. So um, it's a pretty short book and it's split up in chapters. Each chapter has a different kind of topic about happiness. So what I'm going to do as I read through this book, I'm going to do, just do like daily chapters. So I'm going to do daily uploads of each chapter of happiness and kind of step to happiness that this book talks about. So as you guys are watching this video right now, this vlog, this vlog right here, um, I, will, or I will already have a couple chapters from this book on there. So make sure to go watch those. Um, hopefully there are some tidbits from there. I know there's some tidbits, tidbits in the book um, that you guys can probably definitely take away, but hopefully I'm able to kind of relate things to my own life and talk to you guys about some different things. But um, getting all of that ready, going to film an episode of Deadlift Diaries. I'll probably put a clip in here from Deadlifts today. Um, six sets of 315. Um, but yeah, getting all this done now. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Also guys, got a new shelf for the Blu-ray. Check it out. Looking clean for the collection now. No more nasty stack over there on the side, but it's looking clean with that Blu-ray collection. All right guys, so just got here to the gym. Uh, wearing shorts and I've got leggings on but it's 60 degrees today January 31st it is still January in Indiana 60 degrees can't beat that but about to go in here now hit some deadlifts see you guys there guys so just got back from the gym about to get a post-workout meal now this is a recovery meal as you got as I said before I was incredibly sick the past few days so for me to jump back into like um, it's Sunday night so usually I have like pizza or something like that for me to jump back into greasy foods like that would kill me so um, what I am going to have now my recovery foods when I don't feel so great um, what I'm going to have is one thing of Campbell's chicken noodle soup and that, so I'm gonna have that. I'm going to have one thing of Mott's applesauce right there. And then also, I'll probably have about half this sleeve of, what are they, like the Zesta Original crackers. So keeping it pretty simple. Um, but yeah, recovery foods like that. Also going to have one Gatorade right there. So um, flushing electrolytes back into my system. That way, I can stay hydrated, I can get better. So, um, that is my post-workout meal, my recovery post-workout meal. Um, but, going to get back to some work now, finish editing a video, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, so just finished up all my work, got done uh, with my shower for the night, so winding things down, what I'm going to have is a few servings, probably two servings of pretzel crisps, half of this Sprite, and then going to watch a couple episodes of The Office just to Netflix and chill before I head to bed because honestly, what show on Netflix is better than The Office? Especially if you've already seen the entire series all the way through four times. So why not work on your fifth? But um, about to call it a night. See you guys in the morning. 
All right, guys, so just got done with class, just filmed that episode or that first chapter of the practical steps towards happiness. Just got done filming that. And right now what I'm doing is having myself a little bit of a snack, I guess, um, just here in the afternoon, kind of between uh, between lunch and dinner. But I'll show you guys real quick what I'm having. Um, having two servings of the Nature Valley protein granola. You guys have heard me talk about this before. Um, in each serving, you have 210 calories, 5 grams of fat, 32 carbs, and 10 grams of protein. So take all that times two, and that's what I'm going to be having. Um, so having that right now, watching movie talk, and doing a little bit of graphic design work. Um, for a job that I have here on campus. So uh, going to get that done before I do head to dinner in about an hour and a half, two hours. And yeah, then I'm heading to the gym, probably tan tonight, but um, that's the plan so far today. All right guys, so just got done tanning. Luckily, right back there is where I tan. Right over here is the gym, so. Um, all I gotta do is grab my bag real quick, head into the gym, and then we have a push day. So, hitting chest and triceps. But about to head in here now. Here we go. Alright, guys, so here at the gym for this push day, uh, two words that come to mind uh, as I'm going through this workout tired and weak. Uh, for me, I'm usually in the gym seven days a week. Not necessarily going balls to the wall seven days a week, um, but auto-regulating uh, my workouts. But still, I'm in the gym usually seven days a week, and my diet's usually right there on point, counting macros, even when I'm bulking. But like I said, got sick last week, took five days off from the gym, five full days off from the gym. Those five days, hardly eating anything, slowly building up to being back at like my normal caloric intake. So even right now, I'm still struggling to hit that 3,000 calorie mark. I'm still working up to that, but for those five days, I went from floating right, I went right around 156. I was anywhere between 155 and 158 um, on any given morning, down to 148. So I lost a lot of water weight. I lost a I can definitely feel that I did lose a little bit of muscle um, just from being so sick those few days. And you guys are seeing it in these weights I'm pushing today. I had 185 on the bar for bench, weak. Um, I was hitting that for eight and struggling for four sets of eight. And that is a very low warm up weight for me. So, um, yeah, definitely feeling fatigued, but. It's just a process, got to build back up to it, can't let it defeat me. Um, got to get right back into it, right back on the grind, work my way back up, getting up to 160 because we in this bulk. All right guys, so just finished up my last class for the day. On Tuesdays, or my long day starting class at 9 a.m. is 8.55. Just finish it up, grad level stats. It's not fun, but um, really busy this afternoon, so didn't vlog at all. Didn't get to go to the gym this afternoon, so got to get it in here late. Um, so heading to the gym right now, got a back and biceps workout gonna be hitting. Uh, probably I'll substitute biceps for traps, but we'll see, we'll make it work. Um, got to get it in about an hour. So we can do it, an hour to get a good workout in. Just got to, do a couple supersets, throw in a lot of volume, hit it hard.
right guys, so leaving the gym now, just finished up my workout. Took me roughly 50, 55 minutes max, and I got a good workout in. Put my head down, got to work, did a few supersets, and a few things to really kind of get my heart rate up, and just kind of switch things up a little bit. But what I want to tell you guys is, you don't have to spend hours in the gym to get a good workout. I used to have that belief that you needed to. I used to think you had to spend, ah, my feet are cramping up so bad. Um, ah, but I used to have, I don't know why, what the heck, I forgot my water bottle, so maybe I'm just dehydrated now, but you don't have to spend two hours in the gym to have a good workout. You don't have to do all of those different things that you see these guys on YouTube, you see these big time bodybuilders, Mr. Olympia, spending two, three hours a day in the gym. You don't have to do those things. I mean, they have a little bit extra help with enhancements, different things like that, that help their body recover a little bit better. But for you and me that have a normal diet, that have a normal routine, you can't kill yourself every day. You gotta let your body recover. And being in the gym for an hour, being in the gym an hour and a half max is adequate. So don't get so hung up on necessarily being in the gym for two, three hours because you see your idols, Phil Heath or Kai Green, or you see old videos of Arnold being in the gym that long. Honestly, you can get a good workout in in 60 to 90 minutes and you're set. And then you can let your body recover. If you're, pay attention to frequency so hitting body parts like two, sometimes three times a week, rather than hitting them like for two or three hours a day. So um, frequency is more important than how long you're spending in the gym, in my opinion. But i um, about to head back now, get some food, and relax.